everybody and welcome to Little Listener Storytime. My name is Miss Susan and our theme this week is monsters. As you can see behind me though, they're all very friendly monsters and they can't wait to have story time with you today. So we're going to start with our hello song, I Am Special, and then we'll do open shut them together. Here we go. Ready? Point to yourself because you are special and I'm so glad you're here today. Here we go. I am special, I am special, you can see, you can see, someone very special, someone very special, that is me, that is me. Good job. Now we're ready for open shut them. Wiggle up your fingers good, wiggle them up high, wiggle them down low, wiggle them to the side. Wiggle them to the other side. Good job. Here we go. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let those fingers in. Good job. Now we're ready for our nursery rhyme. Our nursery rhyme today is Little Boy Blue. So let's see what happens when Little Boy Blue forgets to keep watch of his job. Here we go. Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. But where's the little boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. So let's do that one one more time. Little Boy Blue is supposed to be watching the animals, and he forgot to watch, and that's why they got into places where they're not supposed to be. Let's do that one more time. Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. But where's the little boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Our first story today is The Monster at the end of this book, starring lovable, furry, old Grover. The story is by John Stone. And right on the front cover, Grover says, Hello, everybody! What did that say? On the first page, what did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did? Oh, I am so scared of monsters. Shh. Listen, I have an idea. If you do not turn any pages, you will never get to the end of this book. And that is good. Because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please don't turn the page. What do you think we should do? I want to find out what happens in the story. I'm going to turn the page. <gasps> you turn the page! Uh-oh, I don't think Grover's very happy with us. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Maybe you do not understand. You see... Turning pages will bring us to the end of this book, and there is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning pages, see? I am tying the pages together so that you cannot... <gasps> you turn another page! You do not know what you are doing to me. Now stop turning pages! I think we should turn another page. There! I, Grover, 
and nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it. And we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. All right, all right, all right. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. This will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong, brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. Should we try it? Let's see. <gasps> Do you know that you are very strong? Do you see Grover's hand? And all those bricks landed on poor Grover. The next page is the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so scared. Please do not turn the page. Please. 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 Let's turn it. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. This is the end of the book. And the only one here is me. I, lovable, furry old Grover, am the monster at the end of this book. And you were so scared. I told you and I told you there was nothing to be afraid of. I am so embarrassed. Silly Grover, right? So we have a song to do together today called Ten Little Monsters. And for this song, your fingers are going to be the monsters. And we're going to count up to ten monsters and then back down again. Okay, and you'll kind of get a rhythm of how this is going to go. The monsters are not scary. So here we go. One little, two little, three little monsters. Four little, five little, six little monsters. Seven little, eight little, nine little monsters. Ten little monsters can't scare me. Ten little, nine little, eight little monsters. Seven little, six little, five little monsters. Four little, two, three little, two little monsters. One little monster can't scare me. None of them can scare me. None of them can scare me. Let's do that song one more time together. Now that you've heard it and you can see what to do with your little fingers, just do your best helping to count during the song. And always help me with the 10 little monsters can't scare me. But the can't scare me part, I'd love for you to help me with that, okay? So here we go. Let's do this one more time. One little, two little, three little monsters. Four little, five little, six little monsters. Seven little, eight little, nine little monsters. Ten little monsters can't scare me. Ten little, nine little, eight little monsters. Seven little, six little, five little monsters. Four little, three little, two little monsters. One little monster can't scare me. None of them can scare me. None of them can scare me. Our second story today Good job is being brave for that party. song. And in this story, our little monster friend here gets invited to a party and the monster is very, very excited. So let's see what happens. Monster Party by Annie Bach. Monster Party. 
Monster invited, monster delighted, monster squeals, so excited. Monster prepare, monster brush hair, monster picks out underwear. It's getting dressed and ready for the party. Monster arrive, monster high five. Monster joins the disco jive. They're dancing at the party. Monster spin, monster pin, monster peaks, and monster wins. Monster swoosh, monster whoosh, monster whacks the candies loose. Monster munch, monster crunch, monster eats a buggy lunch. Mmm, bug pizza. Monster blow, monster whoa, monster watch out, splat. Oh no, the cupcakes are falling and monster got one right on his head. Uh-oh, now they're throwing cupcakes around. We wouldn't do that though, would we? Monsters icky, monsters sticky, monsters dig in, they're not picky. They're going to eat those cupcakes anyway. Monsters unwrap. Monsters clap. Monster likes his friend's new cap. Monster buy. Monster cry. Monster wipes a teary eye. Monster pout. Monster shout. Monster huffs and stumps about. Monster doesn't want to leave the party when it's all done. Monster whale, monster tail. Monster helps Dad check the mail. He's starting to feel a little bit better about leaving the party. Monster invited, monster delighted. Monster squeals, so excited. He got another invitation to a party in the mail. Monster Glee, Monster Yippee, Monster Marks RSVP. He's going to send a note saying, I'll be at the party. There's all those cupcakes again, right? There we go. Monster Party. For our action song today, we're going to do the clap your hands touch your toes song together like we did last time. So let's go ahead and sing that one together. Here we go. Clap your hands, touch your toes, turn around and put your finger on your nose. Flap your arms, jump up high, wiggle your fingers and reach for the sky. Good job, everybody. Way to go. Want to do it one more time? Okay, let's do that one more time. Here we go. Clap your hands, touch your toes, turn around and put your finger on your nose. Flap your arms, jump up high, wiggle your fingers and reach for the sky. Before we finish with our story time today, let's sing Twinkle Twinkle and Itsy Bitsy together. I brought Twinkle Star back to say hello to everyone. We'll put him way up here with the monsters. Twinkle Star can't wait to see you sing the song. And Twinkle Star also wants to let you know that next week, story time theme is Halloween. So you can wear your Halloween costume for story time if you like, okay? So we're going to start with Twinkle Twinkle. So in order to do this on, I've got to put him down. So Twinkle's going to sit down in the chair with me and we're going to use our fingers to do Twinkle Twinkle together. Here we go. Twinkle Twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, 
like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job, everybody. Now we're ready for Itsy Bitsy Spider. Remember, get your water spout ready. And our spider's going to crawl on up. Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Good job, everybody. So like we said, next week's story time will be Halloween. And we're going to have some Halloween stories and things. And you can wear your costume if you like, okay? So we're going to sing goodbye to our friends. And I'll see you all next time. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye everyone, see you next time.